the Jean-Luc Lagardier is next. This is a two-year-old group one. And there's a small field for this one. Uh, so we're seven furlongs. And at the top we've got Camo Fito for Darren Thompson. Dakar Prodigy Dan Hughes. Flipping Shifting David Robertson. Pockling Crackers in McMilk Bronx. Cave Girl for Vinnie Gerard and Interibral Moth for M. McMilk. So just six of them and M. McMilk probably tilted at Wimbledon, but he's guaranteed fifth place prize money, which is a few quid in this. And ready to go. And away they go, a little bit slow out was in Interibral Moth, but they sort themselves out now. And it's Pockling Crackers who's going to be the early leader. So Pockling Crackers is the leader from the grey flipping shift in Cabo Fito, widest on the track between them there is Dakar Prodigy and then the Green Jacketed Bronx Cave Girl and Treble Moth but it's five in a perfect line behind the leader Pockling Crackers so Pockling Crackers then taking them along the pace is not that hot at this point and this could get tactical and suddenly M. McMilk's got himself a 1-2 with Pockling Crackers and Treble Moth then comes Dakar Prodigy and Bronx Cave Girl Cabo Fito going widest on the track flipping shifting might be the only one to get boxed in if he doesn't watch it but it's Pockling Crackers who's clearing the lead and the rest of them are back in a line again as they race into the final three furlongs now then with Pockling Crackers leading by three quarters of a length to flipping shifting in second in Treble Moth Cabo Fito is closest to us Bronx Cave Girl next Dakar Prodigy no more than two lengths off the leader but it's Pockling Crackers who still leads and kicks on again now past the two furlong pole Pockling Crackers running a big race in the lead in Dakar Prodigy in Treble Moth trying to get back into it Cabo Fito flipping shifting this one's still wide open as they come down in the furlong and Pockling Crackers in the lead from Dakar Prodigy now flipping shifting's trying to get going but it's still Pockling Crackers Dakar Prodigy pokes his head in front Dakar Prodigy's just in front Cabo Fito's trying to finish and racing up towards the line now it's got to be close Bronx Cave Girl lumber at the line but I think Dakar Prodigy might have just held on and the bunch finish in a group one tends to mean they're not all that good but I think Dakar Prodigy's taken it from Bronx Cave Girl Camo Fito third Pockling Crackers ended up back in fifth after looking like it was got a good chance of winning so Dakar Prodigy wins it for Dan Hughes Bronx Cave Girl Vinnie Gerald second Cabo Fito for Darren Thompson third flipping shifting for David Robertson was fourth and Pockling Crackers for M. McMilk was fifth